It's mitosis. So this is part one of a two-part series on cell division. And we're first talking about mitosis. This is the most common type of cell division in the body. These are cells that are replicating, for example, in growing tissues. Um, the only cells these do not include are those cells that are the sex cells, uh, the eggs and the sperm. Those are the ones undergoing meiosis. So mitosis is the same type of cell division that bacteria go through. They are essentially the cloning of an individual cell. And so I like to think of it that way because later when we talk about gene cloning and we talk about cloning organisms, we're really talking about mitotic divisions. And essentially this is making a genetic replica of a cell. So you have exactly the same genetic information in two daughter cells after you begin with a single cell. All right, so let's take a look here at how we can, we can best represent this. First, I'm going to draw you the cell cycle. And I want to show you that during the life of a cell, actually, there's, G, there's a lot of phases out there. I'm going to call them, this is a G1, normal cell living going on here, S phase. Right, the S phase also means synthesis. Now synthesize means to make, right? We talk about synthetics, things, fabrics that are made, for example. This is synthesis. I should tell you that here DNA replicates, is replicated, okay, by the cellular machinery. So this is where the DNA duplication occurs. We go into G2 here, more normal cell living, and then over here during one small period of time is during the mitosis part, which is the division. So this single cell goes G1, and then it duplicates its DNA, it does some more living over here, and then it divides into two cells, and then each of those cells then starts back in G1 again. Mitosis itself is divided into several phases. Now I've mentioned you don't need to know the name of all the phases. Um, but I'm going to talk about a couple that are important. Actually for me there's only one important phase and that's metaphase. And that's the one that I always uh, like to emphasize. So this is the cell cycle. Let's go in and take a look at mitosis. What I'm going to draw for you is a chromosome which is as you know now a long piece of DNA. And this one is a single piece of DNA. This is a centromere, which is a protein that links the two pieces of replicated DNA. So these things are called sister chromatids because they're identical to each other. They're linked together by a protein called a centromere. And so this is all considered one molecule right now. Right? Obviously in, in, in G1 it was just the one, in S we made the second one, and then in G2, and so this is how we enter into mitosis with this duplicated piece of DNA. So this is duplicated DNA, sister chromatids. Now as you know we have a pair of every type of chromosome out there. So I'm going to give you a black one like this and a red one like this. This is also duplicated DNA. We call this pair homologous, homologous pair. They have the same genes on them different alleles. Sometimes the same alleles, but they may have different alleles. Alright, so that means that if you have eye color, could be, would obviously be identical on these two, and it might be eye color, it'll be in the same place on the homologous pair here, eye color. But in this case, it might be blue, and in this case, it might be brown. Okay? So, in other words, 
the same genes on the homologous pair, different alleles. Now I represent another chromosome. Remember the humans have 23 pairs, so this is one pair, and there'd be 23 of these pairs. I'm going to represent a second one down here, and it's going to be distinct in that it's going to be short. And the reason it's distinguished to be shorter is so that you can tell that I'm drawing a different chromosome. Now in the same place on this one, we might have something like hair color. And in this case it might be blonde, and in this one it might be brown. Okay? So this is going to have completely different genes that are found on this chromosome. And if you take all 23 pairs like this in humans, you get all the traits in the human body. Right? Now these guys actually belong in a cell. They actually belong in a nuclear membrane inside a cell. But I'm going to simplify this. I'm not going to draw the cell. Um, sometimes I'll just draw it as a circle around the outside like this, the cell, uh, the cell wall, or membrane, sorry. And I'm going to simplify it by just using two pairs of chromosomes. All right? So we're going to do mitosis with these guys. And now that I've explained a few different things, let's move over this way and start with a fresh uh, deck, so to speak. Now, uh, DNA has been replicated. We're ready to go here. We've got a duplicated piece of DNA there that's long, a duplicated short piece here. And with a little bit of practice, you'll be able to keep up with drawing chromosomes with me here. There's a long one there, and a short one here, okay? Now this is our cell, and this is how they, they might be in the cell. Now in prophase, the beginning, they could be floating around anywhere, all right? And I guess what I want to have them do first is I want to have them uh, in metaphase. So let's take a look at them in metaphase. And this is a lineup. Now because this is mitosis, we line up on centromeres because obviously you can see from where we are right now in this case to make two identical cells all I need to do is split everybody in the middle and put the left ones on one side and the right ones on the other that would make two identical cells right so the lineup here occurs like this long. I'll draw my short guy down here. He's tied together. And here's the long one. And the short red one goes here. Okay. Now, now they're lined up on centromeres. And then the cell division part occurs when these, actually what we do is there are some things called spindle fibers that reach out here from the ends of the cell and with little protein motors, these get pulled apart. Turns out the motors are actually here, all right? And they pull themselves apart, ripping apart at the centromere here. So this one goes that way and that way. So it's easily, it makes a nice, perfect, even division of the genetic material on either side. So in this case, you only really need to know metaphase and how do they line up? And now you can see they're going to separate. And if you want to continue with the drawing here, uh, which let's, let's go ahead and continue. I'll have to erase all this great drawing I did over here. Run out of the space. There we go. What it will look like when we're done is long on one side, long on the other, short on one side, short on the other. We've got the long red over here, long red over here, short red over here, short red over here. Now we could have two cells that are identical. Now, because the homologous pairs, um, you know, well, see so we got a homologous pair and a homologous pair, right? And a homologous pair and a homologous pair. And so all the alleles that were here duplicated are now here in single form. So now for each of these to begin dividing again, they simply replicate their DNA and repeat the process. So this is mitosis.
And I think it's pretty straightforward. It's the easy part.